Welcome back Virgo. This is Renee and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at the next three months, what you can expect, what's coming forward, um, what you may not expect. We're going to take a look at the next three months. Okay. So if this resonates, like, subscribe, hit the bell. If it doesn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. Okay. Um, at the, stay tuned to the end where I'll be choosing an angel number for you and um, giving you that meaning. Also, you can look up more of a meaning to your angel number. Okay, so stick around to the end for that. Okay, Virgo, let's get into this. What's coming forward for Virgo? In the next three months, what does Virgo need to know for their greatest good? What's going on with Virgo the next three months? Okay, we have helper of emotion. Okay, romance blooms and you find yourself falling in love. Gifts of flowers, love letters and poems read aloud are all in your future. Marriage proposals, weddings, and past life connections are possible. Someone new who is romantic, dreamy, and emotional may enter into your life. This person could be an artist who is an idealist about love. Okay, so I feel like you have love coming in. Okay, letting you know there's love coming into your life, Virgo, in the next three months so if you're open to love i feel like love is definitely coming in this may be a very passionate person uh there may be some kind of proposal some kind of yeah some kind of escalation of love here okay leading to marriage okay what other messages do we have for virgo okay we have successful funding your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that you gave that gave you the idea. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality. Crowdfunding partnerships and other investments are available to help you. Okay, so I feel like, you know, spirit is letting you know to dream big. You know, there's something that maybe you have been um, dreaming about doing. There's something that you may have wanted to put into action, but you feel like you don't have enough to get it started. And I feel like Spirit is letting you know, don't let money be the reason why you did not start or pursue your dream. Okay, there's other ways around. There's other resources that may be available to you in order to keep pursuing what you are dreaming about doing. Okay, so I, I feel like, you know, Virgo, take action, you know, pursue your dreams. Don't give up, you know, just go for it. Okay, we have honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can always expect it from myself. So there may be something in your life you have to be honest with yourself about. There's something that, you know, something that may be going on, something that you may be in denial of. But I feel like, you know, you need to be honest with yourself. You need to uh, take action where action needs to be taken. Okay, so let's get another card for... Yeah, we have complacency. Yeah. So there may be... There may be a situation to where you are not taking the required action. You may be sitting back and you may be expecting something to happen, but you're not acting upon it. You know, and I feel like, you know, you just need to be honest with yourself about the situation because nothing's going to happen without required action. OK, so the, there's there's something that needs to be done here. There's some kind of situation that you need to really focus on and really get ahead of. OK, um, and I feel like Virgo, you know what that situation is. So um, 
be honest with yourself and work through whatever the situation is okay just don't sit back and do nothing uh, take the required action okay now we're going to take a look at what may need to be released in order to bring something better the next three months what does Virgo need to release? What needs to be released in Virgo's life to bring something better? Okay. We have the Three of Wands. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. And the Full card. Wow. Okay. Well, this is different than the other signs because all the other signs have gotten swords. So I don't think that you need to change your mindset, Virgo. I think you're one of the signs who has the right mindset on the situation. But I feel like, you know, there's something that you need to release. And I feel like it's your expectations. You know, I feel like, you know, you should dream big and aim high. But I feel like you expect a certain situation and if that certain if that certain expectation isn't met I feel like you may tend to give up okay you may tend to put your attention elsewhere if something doesn't happen just the way you expect it okay and I feel like that mentality needs to be released because you know we may expect a certain expectation but we can't give up in the midst of the process we have to see it through okay sometimes that expectation that we're seeking takes a bit longer in certain situations so just because it doesn't come at the expected time doesn't mean that you should not pursue what that is okay sometimes we need to give it extra time sometimes we have to see it all the way through before we see results Okay, so I feel like, you know, um, not giving up if you don't see the expectation expectation is going to be very beneficial for you. That's something that needs to be released. I also feel like there's a I also feel like you're a big overspender, Virgo. I'm just going to lay it out there. I feel like, you know, that's the reason why we have this Knight of Pentacles here. I feel like you're spending money on things that really don't matter. Sometimes you're spending money on things just because it's on sale or just because it looks good at the moment. And I feel like, you know, that's something that you need to release because you need, you need a new beginning. You're taking a leap of faith. You're making a lot of changes. Okay, a lot of changes are happening for you. And I feel like that leap of faith that you're taking is going to bring on a lot of change. It's going to bring on, you know, it could be the change of your lifetime. Okay, because I feel like these changes are moving you into a better situation, into a better reality, a better beginning, a better journey um, as you go along. Okay, so I feel like in some situations you're very naive. Um, you may be just beginning certain situations. You may feel like you have a good grasp on something, even though you still need to learn. Okay, the the fool he's very naive. He kind of follows wherever he's led. Okay, so I feel like that's something that you need to. You know, really take notice of. There may be something that needs to be released. Something that you need to let go of. Those are energies that just aren't serving you any longer. They aren't bringing you to your highest good. Okay? And I'm sorry for my voice. I'm starting to lose my voice now. I've done a lot of readings in the past few days. Okay. So now let's take a look at what may be challenging you in the next three months what challenging you okay oh the judgment card okay the knight of wands and the ten of ten of swords okay so there's going to be an ending somewhere 
there's something that's ending and I feel like it's going to be very challenging. There's something that needs to go in order for you to move into this new awareness. I feel like um, a challenge is going to be for you to move out of your comfort zone and into a better situation. But there's something that's ending. This may be a job. This may be um, a current relationship. But something is ending so that it'll move you out of your comfort zone and into taking more required action. Okay, but I feel like you're actively pursuing something. You're actively moving forward. You may be, you know, the, the situation may have ended and now you feel like you need to relocate. But I feel like it's taking you out of your comfort zone. And I feel like that's exactly what needs to be done is to move out of your comfort zone to try something new to see something new, to experience something new, okay? So that is your challenge. I feel like, you know, you, you're you just in this time of discovery, Virgo, to where um, it's time for you to see things, you know, not always accept things for the way they are and not totally to... Um, expect things to happen but sometimes to kind of be aware of the unexpected you know and that may be stepping out of your comfort zone kind of having something unexpected come around I feel like you are kind of in this time where you kind of expect things to happen or you mm, you're kind of out of your comfort zone if something happens unexpectedly you know like if I don't feel like you're one to really like surprises. So that's what I'm getting. So stepping out of your comfort zone is going to is going to make big changes for you, you know? It's going to lead you in a direction that um you never thought possible. Okay, so let's take a look at what will be blessing Virgo in the next three months. What big blessings are coming around for Virgo? Okay, we have the Six of Cups. The Hierophants. Wow. The Five of Wands. And the Seven of Wands. Wow, we also have the Page of Swords. Okay. At the bottom, we have the Star. So, I feel like there's a lot of healing going on for you. I feel like in the next three months, I feel like, you know, you are becoming that Star mentality. I feel like you are your own spotlight. Okay? Um, there's a hair in these cards. I'm trying to get it. Here we go. Okay, and um, I feel like you're going through this great healing. You know, you're immersing yourself in these healing waters. Maybe you're, you know, really taking care of yourself. You're really putting in time on your health, on your well-being. You're really promoting that self-love, that self-gratification. Okay, but I feel like the next three months you are gaining a totally different new perspective. Okay, um, now your big blessing, I feel like some, someone's coming in that you're very familiar with. This doesn't necessarily have to be an ex, but it may be. Um, but I feel like this is someone that you're very familiar with. And I feel like they, they may give you some kind of offer, some kind of invitation sometimes the hierophant i'm not going to lie to you sometimes the hierophant can be an indication of marriage or union so this may be someone that you were once married to or it may be someone that leads to marriage okay so but i feel like it's someone familiar coming back so this is someone from your past not necessarily an ex okay and I feel like in the next um, three months, there's going to be you looking at yourself. I feel like you are, um, you're training for battle. You know, you're, you're no longer sitting by waiting. I feel like you are leading the pack. 
you are leading some kind of situation. Maybe it is that you get a promotion. Maybe you are the leader of a team. Um, but I feel like something is coming through that is putting you ahead of the rest. You know, it's making you look better than the others. You know, because you're taking initiative. You're following through. You're teaching someone some kind of lesson, some kind of training, okay? And we have the Seven of Wands. So I definitely feel like there's something that you know that you have to fight for. I feel like there's there's something that's going on that you will be fighting for this. You will be working very hard to achieve this. You know, we're going from the five to the seven. You know, we're, we're not even backing down. We're just keep, we're keep going, you know? And, and I feel like, you know, you're fighting for, you're fighting to be seen. You're fighting to be recognized. Okay. And we have the Page of Swords. So there's something that you're very curious about. You're gaining a better understanding of something. There's something that you want more information of. You know, let's go ahead and get, let's see, I'm going to take this one. Let's go ahead and get a better understanding of these cards. Give me a message for Virgo. Tell me more about the situation. What does Virgo need more understanding of? What are they actively searching? What is? What are these blessings? Okay. We have the Ten of Wands. The Lovers. Wow. And the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Okay, Virgo. Okay, here's the thing. I feel like at the moment you feel like you're really bogged down with priorities and just day-to-day -day activities. I feel like there's a lot going on. You have a lot on your plate. You're carrying a big load, you know. Um, but I do feel like there's love coming in. That may be the Six of Cups that's coming in for you that may lead to marriage okay um i feel like there's a great love coming in for you in the next three months there's something coming in that's going to be very nurturing um that's going to make you feel better equipped you know i feel like you know before you felt like you had so much to carry you may not have had time to pursue love or to have the love that you wanted and I feel like you kind of felt like you were left out like everyone else was in love but you okay but I feel like you know you've waited for a reason because you've waited for that special person and maybe you haven't even noticed it you know but everything happens in its own divine timing and I feel like within the next three months I feel like that timing is finally coming forward because I feel like you you're gaining the love that you want that love that you want is finally coming forward okay okay I'm sorry about the noise I, I'm not, I know you hear that noise in the background Someone's alarm is going off. Okay. Let's see what's going on in Virgo's love life. Let's get a message for Virgo's love life, please. What's going on in Virgo's love life? A date. Ooh, you're meeting someone new. Dating, getting back out there. Someone's inviting you out on a date, Virgo. Wow. Ooh, could be a soulmate. Could be a soulmate connection here. Partnership agreement, soul contract. This person that, that asks you out could, could lead to a soulmate. It could lead to something bigger and better. Let's get some cards see what messages we have from this person and I don't know where all this hair is coming from I think all my hair is falling out let's see let's get a message oh wow things just got emotional 
Okay. Okay, what else do we have? I'm so sorry I hurt you. Wow, someone says something to hurt your feelings. What did they say, Virgo? What happened there? Okay, what else do we have? My heart glows when I see you near. Wow, interesting. Okay, let's see. Your abundance is on the way. <laughs> Time to laugh more, get out, and enjoy life. Okay, we're going to take one more. Well, I guess Spirit said two more. Okay, your prayers are being answered. And we also have, I'm happiest with you. Okay, so something's going on, Virgo. Something is going on. I feel like it's going to be very exciting. I feel like there's a couple different messages there for you. And I feel like some of them aren't just for love. Some of them may have another meaning. I'll let you go ahead and put that meaning where it belongs. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a Moonology Manifestation card. Let's get a Monology Manifestation card, please. Okay, two want to come out. We have See the Big Picture, Full Moon and Sagittarius. Okay, and we have New Moon and Cancer, Relax. So you may need to take time out for yourself. Okay, but maybe not. The bottom we have full moon and Leo. Go wild. Okay, so get out there and have fun. Don't just sit back and relax all the time. You know, relaxing is good, but sometimes you have to get out there and really enjoy life. Okay, so let's go ahead and get another card for Virgo. What do we need to say to Virgo, please? What do we need to say to Virgo? Okay. We have do the work. Okay. And we have harmony and resolution. Wow. I'm going to take one more. And we have blessings and abundance. Wow. Okay. So Spirit is letting you know, you know, you get out there and do the work and things will happen greatly for you. You know, you'll have blessings and abundance coming forward for you. Okay, so get out there and do the work, Virgo. Keep doing what you're doing. I feel like, you know, you're on the right path. You just need to, you know, work on these challenges, you know. Okay, we have Ascension. Move into your true self. Rise above the darkness. The light is here. Okay. And we also have Cosmic Gateway. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. Beautiful. And we also have Shekinah, Sacred Self. Unleash your spirit, express your gifts, and dance to the sacred rhythm of life. Okay, just what I was saying, get out there and enjoy life. Get out there and really express yourself. Tro show people that true Virgo, okay? You know, don't be afraid to show people your true authentic self. Enjoy life. Okay, let's go ahead and get your angel number. What angel number do we have for Virgo? What angel number do we have for Virgo, please? <clears throat> okay, we have 1515 Creativity. Okay, keep assessing the creative connection that you feel to the divine. The whispers speak through your creative connection, allowing you to express the beauty that is within you and connect you to the love that is around you, okay? Your affirmation, creativity is my birthright. As I express my creativity, I feel a beautiful flow of love and connection. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so your angel numbers are 1515, okay? So, Virgo, 
If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. If this doesn't resonate, take a look at your moon, rising, and Venus. Um, that'll give you more clarity. I have those in your March playlist. Okay? And until your next reading, many blessings to you, Virgo. Love and light.